There it is. Right off of that waypoint. That one doesn't look like another pike. No. There we go. Just a little guy. That one? Yeah. Hey folks, Greg Huff here. Central Wisconsin, about a 350 acre lake out with Justin Rowe from Skeeter Boat Center. We're getting on a crankbait bite. This one's That's not a good too one bad. There. Oh, there we go. That one was worth waiting for. That's what we like to see. So awesome. There's there. one. Well, looks like Justin's hooked up too. You were telling me this was the kind of lake we were going to. Oh, that's a good one. Another good one? Another fatty. First double of the day, hoping there's gonna be more. God, this is a fat belly, look at this Oh thing. God, yeah. All right. It's three and a half, four. All right, awesome. now we found them. All right, where's our buoy in relation to where we are? Uh, a long ways away, wish I had it. Okay. But I gotta wait. Make some mental notes here. 350 acre lake uh, from what I could find from the Wisconsin DNR site. The, a real a lot of gravel and sand and some rocks below us, not a lot of muck. So that tells me crankbait fishing and that's exactly what we're doing. Tell me a little bit more about our game plan and uh, how we can expect to catch them on this lake. We're gonna sit off the side of a few key rock bars out here. There's only about five or six of them. And basically just hurl crankbaits over the top of them some of them have big chunk rock on the top of them. We're just gonna crash our crankbaits over the top into them. And hopefully that's where they're sitting. Hopefully we get a reaction bite. Hooked up. Oh. Missed them. It's almost like Here we go. you get the first fish to go. Just like that. Oh! And then you can get a whole bunch of them to go too. All right, so we've had two, uh... we've set the hook twice, but haven't. Loaded one yet. Boy, he slammed it though. It's always like this in the morning here. Mm -hmm. You have to do kind of a lot of searching and by about noon, things really start to pick up. Which is really counterintuitive for summer bass fishing. Like, usually it's like, oh yeah, we can be out there from six to 11, then yeah. get off the lake. And some lakes are. The lake I, we just fished the tournaments on was like that in the morning. I mean, it was just absolutely insane. On fish. like Chinese ping pong? Yes, a lot like Chinese ping pong. Fast and Furious. Yes. Oh yeah. There's one. Get him. Justin Rowe, who just hooked up with what we hope is gonna be a five pound largemouth, cranking some rock piles. I don't know if it'll be that big, but no, just a good two and a half. Fat though. Gosh, they're all just fat. Awesome. This lake is absolutely known for its crank baiting. I mean, it's the hotter, the better. You know, Justin, as I'm uh, running my crankbait over these rocks and kind of getting a feel for this second spot here, I'm kind of reminded back of my, my early, early days as a little shaver, you know, back the spin cast days when I'd uh, fish with a crankbait. I was always afraid to, uh, to bang it on the bottom and I'd, I'd get pick them hung it. up. Yeah, I was afraid I was gonna, afraid I was gonna get them hung up. So I, I was never really fishing them right. I was fishing them in, in you know, above the bottom, which, yeah. which uh, wasn't really that effective. Yeah, the most important thing about fishing a crankbait is you gotta get it down, you gotta get it on the bottom. Uh, if, you're, if you're up off the bottom, even a foot, six inches, you're more than likely not gonna get bit. Go over how you pick a crankbait, you know, if you're, say, in 10 feet of water, what depth of a diving crankbait that you'd pick out and, and why it's so important to get that that combination right. If I'm in 10 feet of water, I want to throw a 12 foot diver. So basically I look for a crankbait that'll dive two feet deeper than what it actually is. So eight feet, it'll be a 10 foot diver. 12 feet, I'll go up to a 14 foot. And uh, for deeper water, a lot of times go up to a 16 or 18 foot diver. You have to get your crankbait down. You have to slam it against the rocks. A crankbait is reaction bait and that's the reaction that they're talking about is when you've got that crankbait down on the bottom and that lip is digging into the rocks and the structure down there, as that lip dives in, when it hits something, it'll carry them off at these 
angles that uh, when they when they carry them away, that's what creates a little bit of something different that looks like a, a bait fish darting this way or that, and that's what creates that reaction strike. And that's why you want to you want to dig your crankbait into the bottom. If you're a foot of, above the above the bottom, you will not get bit. Uh, so it's important to get the right crankbait for the right depth. Another northern, I bet. Yep. Say, I know a northern hit when I see one. Get everybody wet. Save some slime for me. There it is. That one doesn't look like another pike. No, it's a bass. That one? Yeah, it's so awesome. There it is. Another fatty. First double of the day, hoping there's gonna be more. Oh, I think I got another one. Oh, oh! Earlier we were having some, some nips, you know, just but they weren't committing. But now we finally, there's one, that's, that's another one right there. That's another good one. That's, a, he's gonna come up. Yeah, keep him down. Yeah, that's another good one. We had a double, the last one. Another decent one, not quite as big as the last one, but another solid fish. Not quite as big as the last one, but you know, Justin was saying just a couple minutes ago that they'll group up on these rocks. So it's about finding the spot on the spot. I dare say we found the spot we found on a the little spot. spot. Little spot on the spot here. So that was three bass and three casts for me. Now on the second of those three, I had one jump and, and toss, the, toss my crankbait, but that's gonna happen. But uh, like Justin was saying, when you, when you get dialed in, you know, kind of using what you know about the lake and using your electronics to get dialed in even further, when you find that school, it can be like that. It can just be fast and furious. On like Chinese ping pong. Got him. Yep, got him. I'm gonna cast exactly where yeah, you did. Yeah, I was gonna say, cast right over there. That's a nice one. Oh yeah, nice little chunk. Hold on, hold steady. Easy. Another little chunker. Let's see if we can get another flu. Yep. Where there's one, there's two on this lake. And you threw basically the same at the same spot, the same angle that I threw it. Yep. Another double. Feels good. Uh oh, get off of there. Oh wow. Good one. Yeah. I got him stung in the back. No, nope, now he's in the head. Now you're bringing that in. I'm gonna make that same cast. They're so awesome here. That's a good one. Okay. Gotta love it. Nice. Awesome.